So, you're planning a new Lutron Ratu Select system for the very first time and you would like to know more about which Pico to use, how many buttons do you need and where to fit those. Well, that's what we're going to talk about here. Bonjour, I'm Xavier and welcome to the Adelux YouTube channel for lighting control and home automation tutorials. If you're also into it, please consider to like and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Let's just dive into it. Let's just use this very basic floor plan. When I specify or quote a Lutron Ratu Select system, the first thing I do is I try to isolate which rooms will be using single lighting circuit. So here, for example, in what looks to be an entrance hall, although I have three light fittings and since they are wired together so they can turn on, turn off a dim all at once, that makes it one single lighting circuit. At those type of locations, to operate single dimming lighting circuit, I'll specify a free button Pico wireless control with raise and lower for light, where the top button will bring my lighting circuit to full on, the bottom button will turn the circuit off, and the middle button will set the circuit to 50%, and then the up and down arrows to set the light to anything in between. And to be practical for the user, I fit one of those Pico on both sides of the corridor, like your traditional two-way switching or two-way dimming for that matter. A trick to know here is that I can reprogram the middle button to any level I want. Here, for example, I lower the light, then press and hold the middle button for 6 seconds to save that new level and then test it. That is very useful. Now, if I have a room with a lighting circuit that is not dimmable, like the storage room here with a ceiling light that only switch on and off, in those cases, I'll be using a two button Pico wireless control for light that I will fit by the door. And on this Pico, the top button will switch my light to full on and the bottom button will switch it off, straight forward. Now, let's say that in this room here, that we could call a living room for example, we have one dimming lighting circuit made of those down lighters, and another dimming circuit made of this central pendant here, which makes a total of two separate dimming circuits. So, which Pico would I use here? I can hear some of you say two Pico with three buttons plus raise and lower, like the very first one we mentioned, and you'll be correct. Although there may be a more efficient way, and that's what we're going to see next. Some people may say, can you only use one of those Pico to operate those two circuits? Hmm, I mean, it is technically possible to assign multiple lighting circuits to one of those Pico remotes, as you can see here from the Lutron Ratu Select app. But what would happen is that all of the lighting circuits assigned to these Pico will behave exactly in the same way. In our example, they will both go to full on, off and dim together when the relevant button is pressed and we'll be losing the benefits of having light split in separate circuits and therefore the use of lighting scenes. So, in a room that has more than one lighting circuit, I'd use instead a PicoScene keypad. PicoScene keypads are my favorite really and it is a cost-effective solution as opposed to use two single Picos. By using those, I can really take advantage of my Lutron lighting control system and set all my lights from a single button press, regardless of the number of lighting circuits I may want to control in a space. That's fantastic! Those PicoSync keypads have four buttons that I can fully configure and I can set different light level for each circuit on any of those scenes. And I can also add to those scenes motorized blind positions and audio presets if I have the relevant equipment in my project. 
PicoSync keypads are pre-engraved. Mine is pre-engraved to use in any room. There is another one pre-engraved for living room and another one for kitchen. Now, let's say that in this main room, I have two windows and they're both equipped with Lutron motorized blinds with sheer fabric, for example. Now, although I'd be able to add blinds position within my scenes, as I previously mentioned, I will also add a Pico to specially operate those blinds. This I found to be more convenient for my client and allows to quickly set blinds without affecting the light, which is useful at times. In those cases, I'll use the free button Pico wireless control with raise and lower for blinds, where the top button fully open the blinds, the bottom button to close them, the middle button to bring them to 50% and raise and lower to fine tune their position. Now, the cool thing with those picos for blinds is that if I press open and if I press again on any button while the blind is traveling, it will stop where it is. And this, on the day-to-day -day use, is very useful. And same as the Pico for light, here again, I can reprogram the middle button to set my blind to any new level I want. That is very cool. <laughs> now you could say, wouldn't it be better if we could use one Pico for each blind rather than controlling them as a group? And to this, I would answer that to keep everything simple, I'll control them as a group from the Pico, and if I need to operate them individually from time to time, I will do it from the Lutron Ratu Select app. And if you want to know more about how to set up Lutron motorized blinds from your Lutron Ratu Select system, we've got a link in the comment section below, or you can click on the card above. This time, let's say that in those windows, I have an additional set of blackout Lutron motorized blinds. Well then, I'll use another free button Pico remote with raise and lower for those blackouts. And on the day to day, for those type of rooms, we found that it's more convenient to use PicoSync keypads and in addition to have Pico remote for each group of blinds, like here with the shear and the blackout with their respective engraving. And I will also use a faceplate that can hold three Picos so I can control everything from a single location, like here by the door. And some people may ask, can you use the same Pico to control both group of blinds? Well, again, this is technically possible. As with the Pico for light we talked about previously, you can also assign the shear and the blackout blinds to the same Pico like you can see me doing here on the Lutron Ratu Select app. But both groups will always operate in the same manner. They will both open, close, etc. at the same time, which might defeat the point of using two different types of blinds. Unless, obviously, you need to operate both group of blinds at the same time in a specific point of control or location. With that being said, you can also get a four-button Pico wireless control that will operate two group of blinds that you can use instead of one Pico for each group of blind and therefore reduce the number of devices you might have on the wall, like we can see here when combined with the Pico SIM keypad. Next, let's say that in this room, we also have a Sonos audio system. In this case, I will also specify an audio Pico remote like this one here. This Pico will provide basic audio control for this room, like to play and pause audio, to select the next audio track, as well as controlling the volume and selecting Sonos favorites. And I can add this Pico to the same faceplate as the Pico Sync keypad and blind control if I want to. I will use one of these audio Pico in any room with a Sonos system, so my client won't have to use his phone for basic audio operations. And if you want to know more about how to control Sonos from your Lutron Ratu Select system, we also put a link in the comment section below, or you can also click on the card above. To conclude, one of the best features of Lutron Ratu Select for our clients when it comes to those Pico remotes is the use of this specific one here. 
the entry to button Pico Scene keypad. So simple but so useful. This Pico is to be installed by the front door and will allow you or your clients to switch off all the lights in their home from one button press when they leave the house. This is so convenient and you can set it up so some of the lights can remain to a low level just so it's not completely dark. And you can also assign to this away button here your motorized blinds so they can close or go to any specific position when you're away from home. And of course, you can also turn off the entire audio system, all from a single button press. That is very good. And in the same way, you can program the top button as a welcome scene that you can customize the way you want for when you come back home. That is very cool. So if I use a dual faceplate here again, it will fit nicely next to the Pico that operates the light in the corridor. Finally, let's have a quick look at all the Pico positions and the type of faceplate we use in our example. And of course, you can find all the part numbers and references in the comment section below. Voila, there you have it. What do we need to consider when we specify Pico Remote Control or Pico Scene Keypad on a new Lutron Rat to Select system? I hope you find this tutorial useful and if so, please let me know in the comment section below as well as any feature you would like me to cover in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much and talk to you again on the next tutorial.